Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and now let's proceed with our video tutorials of this written lighting design on how to import, insert, and arrange luminaires. Okay, let's go now and insert this flag pin. So go to the store tab again and select draw line arrangement and then click here and also on the other side and select 3 and make the spacing 0.3 and make this one a center to center there you go, move it double check on the section view or elevation view okay, it snaps here it should be in the center okay, oops and then we will just copy it to the other side Control c Control v okay, another one Control v Very good. This is the channel end, so it's okay. And then Control V again and copy it on the other side. Now we fi we are uh, finished installing or placing the luminaires on the channel. Let's go and check in the 3D. That looks good. We will aim it later. Now we will proceed with the track lights, the suspended one. So let's go and place it. Uh, for this one, I will use all the flat beams here in this track lights. So let's go and say draw arrangement. Okay, this is one side again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's by six. Make the center to center. Make sure it's point three, and then make sure it's in this in the track um, light. Where is my track? Okay, let's go in, suspend it. Alright, good. And go to the plant view again. So let's go and check in the 3D. Now, where is my. Okay, there you go. So it's in the track now. So this track light is either uh, surface mounted or suspended. It depends on how we do the wall wash for this area because it should have a very uniform wall washing on the wall and also highlighting this merchandise or the hung, hung rods and so yeah we can adjust it later so let's go to the plan view again and copy it go to the story tab and control c control v in actual installation you can instead remove the track lines and aim it to the merchandise the important is you aim the merchandise properly so even if it's not properly, uh, it's not evenly placed, like the one I'm doing, 0.3 spacing, it's okay because in the actual, they can move it uh, anytime they want and any distance they want. So let's go to the selling area 3D and look at it. Uh, perfect. See? This is amazing. Uh, once we do the AMA, this is the most. Uh, exciting part and also the hardest part because you need to highlight all those luminaires at the same time we need to have at least a uniform illumination for the walls and for the uh, horizontal so let's go and copy this one to the other side so just drag your mouse and then control c and control v and then move it to the other side and go to the elevation view and properly place it in the middle of the track so all right we're almost done uh, the only missing now is the LED strips on the side and also on the cove light cove lights cove lights or cove ceilings so also here I think there are some LEDs here and we need to insert those LED strips inside these coves uh, inside the hung rods Okay, so now let's go and select these LED strips again from Tridonic because we already opened it. So let's go to the tri Tridonic again and then LED light engines and then select this flexible LED strip. If they have the IS file, let's select this one. Uh, no, there is none here. How about the other one? This one. Yeah, there is a cadre. 
so we can select this one okay is there anything in, in the, the specification about this LED strip it says LED strips for backlighting of the fault ceiling 4000 Kelvin okay we need to select 4000 Kelvin okay I will choose for now the 1200 and then 940 and yeah okay so let's select this one and download the photometric let's say LED flex okay let's save it and then show in folder and then extract the files let's say okay now it's here so let's delete now this X, uh, zip file and now this LED flex let's double check okay now there is is file and loop that file so let's go and insert it in our uh, the Evo. so go to the light tab and then import luminaire and then go to the folder of this LED flexible or LED strip and then let's select the is file say open now again this tab you will say finish just don't touch anything just make it finish okay now it's here so first we will place the curve here on this um, sh uh, shelvings first before in the curve light at the ceiling because here in the details let's go back to the CAD file um, I will show you yeah okay this is the hang rod you can see here and it's inside the hang rod there is a uh, LED strip at the back it says here that's 4000 Kelvin so we need to place something here so let's go to the Tilax, go to the plan view story tab and let's place an LED strip here so go to the draw line arrangement and place it here okay let's check what is the orientation of this oh, this is too thick this LED strip is too thick we need to insert it again because it's too it's not too thick it's too big okay let's delete it and then let's go to the luminaire select and delete this one again and then import luminaire and then import this LED strip again and then next yes it says 0.1 so let's make it 0 0.0 let's say 0 0.0 Two, the length is 0 0.05 and the width is 0 0.03 0 0.02 again and finish okay let's check go to the plan view and insert it uh huh and then go to the section this is much better okay let's do it move and go to the 3d and see how it looks uh -huh, there you go okay in this in the drawing in the details of the auto drawing it says that there is a little groove inside this um, hang rod so we need to create a new one at the same groove so we place our LED strip properly so by uh, doing that you need to uh, select the cut tab again and then we will cut this area okay this one is good and then make the limit as 0.1 yes or we can check it in the drawing the eye yeah it's 200 so it's actually 0.2 okay so let's make it 0.2 and then the spacing is yeah point 0.1 okay that is point two, point 0.2 also so let's go and edit in the plan view and move it like that and like that and then stretch it to the other side okay maybe this is the guide already and then to the other side also and there you go Okay, let's go and check it. There you go. Wow, I love it. 
Oh, let's go and select it and check it here. So there you go. Now this is our groove. We can see it from here. So let's check, uh, double check the width of this one. It says 0 0.01. Uh, size is let's make it 0 0.2. Yes, perfect. Then go to the plan view and move it. Ah, point two is too crazy. Let's add to it. Point zero five. There you go. It's there. Perfect. Okay, so let's continue now. Now we establish our curve for this hang rod area. So let's move down the LED inside. So let's go to the light tab and select the LED strip. Go to the plan view and move this LED strip on the section view and maybe up to here. Okay. Actually, in the detailed drawing, it says it's like this: the LED strip is bouncing, bouncing light from to this, uh, from upside down, and then bouncing light to the to here to this uh, open area. So, for our design, we can do the same, but it's difficult. So, let's just do like this for now. Okay, and then we need to add these LED strips with more LED strips. So, this one is only 3 pieces. We can make it maybe with 15 pieces. Yeah, okay. If it shows that it lights because it should not have that lights then we need to add more so it will be look like continuous light if these 15 pieces is enough then uh, we'll just leave it like this so let's go and copy this one to the other side control c control v okay again control v okay this one is a little longer so we need to add more so go and right click edit line and then extend your line up to here and then maybe we can make it 30 pieces okay because in actual LED strip is measured by per linear meter not by pieces of LED so yeah okay now uh, we need to, to create an open groove also here in this uh, hang rod so let's go and uh, select the cut out tab and then rectangular okay and then let's leave it into point two okay good let's go to the plan view and adjust this one let's say here and then here and also on the other side okay so let's do it again on this other hang rod unfortunately you cannot copy this cut tab you need to do it uh, one by one because it, it should detect the 3d uh, surface before you you can create a cut tab so go to the plan view again and then adjust this cut cut out the other one extend it up to here and then check in the 3d and now it's open now we can see the, the LED strip now all right and you can see here in the vertical that there's also areas for LED and if you want to review the images of these uh, Couples shop, yeah, there is cove lights also on this side. So let's go to the elevation view and place another LED strip on the vertical. So let's do it. Light, draw line arrangement. You can make this one as a baseline. Okay. To here. Now let's go to the plan view and check where it is aimed. Okay, this is should be rotated. And then move it in the middle. Okay. Go to the section. Go to the section again to double check everything. 
Alright. Okay. And then let's make it how many pieces? Let's say 50 pieces of LD. Okay. Again, if there is a dotted light, then we need to add more. Let's go to the selling area and double check how it looks. Yes, so it's inside the groove. There you go. Here. It's inside here. Okay, we will just copy it to the other side. I think we need to add this one now with maybe 30 pieces. Yeah, that's too much. 20. Okay, let's check the spacing of this one. It says 1.123. One how about this one? Point two. Uh, okay. Okay. We will just add, we can we can just adjust it later. So let's copy this one. Control C, Control V. There you go. This is correct. And then go to the other side. And then rotate this. Ellen strip. Okay. Let's check it here on the section view and see how it looks where is it oh, it's cut. okay there you go that looks good okay now we can just copy it to the other side go to the store tab again and then control C control V and then right click and rotate and then move where is my other group okay it's here now we can copy this one to the other side. So just drag and select the luminaires. Is it selected? Double check, double check. Yes, it's selected. Control C, Control V. And yeah, there you go. And then just move it to the other side of the riddle shop. If you have to do it, the section view is much better. So let's move it like this. We go to the plant view to make sure that the location is correct. Okay, just move it. All right. Double check if it's properly located, properly placed. Okay, good. This one is wrong. So let's move it because this is one is a little longer. This one, let's move it also. There we go. And of course, this one. There you go. All right. So we're done putting the LED strips or the cabinets. And of course, we need to cut this area again to put the LED strip on the uh, upper side. Okay, let's save it for now.